Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support and today I want to talk to you about the Rico printer and the maintenance menu. And we're going to do it from the menu here at the printer. So we're going to do a walkthrough on how to get in the maintenance menu, what features are in there, things you need to pay attention to and you need to know about so that if you should ever have to go in there, you know how to get to these things and what they're for. So we'll walk through that here in just a second, so we'll get started. All right, I want to take you through a walkthrough in the maintenance menu so you know how to get to the things that will be required of you to do later on for preventive maintenance things and if you have problems. And these problems, of course, make sure you watch the other videos on how to do head cleanings, nozzle checks, and head flushings so that you understand when to do these things. But you do need to know how to maneuver in the maintenance menu. So let's get started. We're going to press the menu key. We're going to arrow down until we see maintenance. Press the enter key. There's your nozzle check. Your nozzle check is performed by continuing to press enter and it will guide you through. And to go to the next part of the maintenance menu, you arrow down until you get to head cleaning. Head cleanings are performed after you've done your nozzle check and you have a problem with the uh, nozzle check pattern you'd do a head cleaning. You would enter through that. I have a video on that also. Arrow down one more time to do a head flushing. Head flushings are very costly with ink, so make sure that you watch the video on when and how to do a head flushing and why you would do a head flushing before proceeding into a head flush. Arrow down again. These next things that you're going to see come up are alignments. Make sure you give us a call before you do the print head alignments, but once you get to the head alignment position, you press the enter keys, it'll walk you through doing the head alignment and we can guide you through that also if you have any questions on it. Head alignments are only performed when cleanings and other things haven't worked or if instructed by someone here at support. Arrow down again, you're going to have an adjust paper feed. This is done also performed when you have a problem with your alignment. Adjust paper feed, very simple. Um, press the enter key, it'll guide you through doing a paper feed alignment. If you arrow down again, it's registration, date and time, and key repeat. We don't go into any of those. Paper test feed, decondensation, that's performed if for any reason you get moisture in your printer. I have a video on doing a decondensation which is a 993 error. You can see my video on uh, decondensation or moisture in the printer by watching the 993 error video. Arrow down again, you're back to the nozzle check. That's where we started. So you just escape out all the way back to ready. And that's how you maneuver through the maintenance menu. And there are very important things in there that you need to know about. So keep in mind, if you need it, it's there for you. Okay, so we've talked about the maintenance menu on the Ricoh printers, the GX3300, the GX7000, and the GX5050 talked about how to get in the maintenance menu, what features are in there, and what's important for you to know about those features. So if you have any questions on how to do this or any walkthroughs you need done, make sure you call us here at support. Anyone in our department should be able to walk you through these procedures. Again, I'm Vicki, and thank you for your time.